Tonight, yet another look into the Trump presidency. New explosive allegations from former Defense Secretary Mark Esper, alleging that President Trump wanted to secretly launch missiles into Mexico to, quote, destroy the drug labs. Just one of a series of accusations detailed in Esper's upcoming memoir, A Sacred Oath, a book that Esper tells the New York Times has been fact-checked by those at the highest levels of the Pentagon. The former secretary, who was appointed by Trump himself, also pointing to senior advisor Stephen Miller. In an upcoming interview with 60 Minutes, Esper recalling a moment when Miller suggested sending active troops to the border. We're standing around the Resolute desk, and uh, he's behind me, and this voice just starts talking about uh, caravans are coming, and, and we need to get troops to the border, and uh, we need a quarter million troops. And I think he's joking. And then I turn around and I look at him and he's in these deadpan eyes. It's clearly he is not joking. Esper says Miller continued to push for troops and later discovered the administration was already seeking to get approval until he squashed what he says was a ridiculous plan. I gave uh, General Milley specific instruction to tell NORTHCOM, Northern Command, to stop working on it, to cease and desist, and that if anybody had any questions, you tell them they should call me direct. And I, I never got a phone call. In a response to NBC News, Stephen Miller denies his claim. But Esper says it didn't end there. The former defense secretary alleging in 2019, Miller suggested dipping killed ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi's head in blood as a warning to other terrorists. Esper says he shut it down, saying it would be a, quote, war crime. Miller also denies making this suggestion. And in 2020, in the wake of protests in D.C. after the killing of George Floyd, Esper describes to the Times Trump's desire to place 10,000 active duty troops on the streets of the nation's capital, asking the defense secretary about protesters, quote, can't you just shoot them? At the time, Esper made it clear he was against using troops as law enforcement. The option to use active duty forces in a law enforcement role should only be used as a matter of last resort and only in the most urgent and dire of situations. We are not in one of those situations now. The former president has yet to respond to these allegations. Now, Tom, Trump is on the campaign trail again tonight here in rural Pennsylvania, campaigning for Senate candidate Mehmet Oz. He's still very much in this political ball game. He has not commented on the former defense secretary's comments, but we will wait to see what he says from the stage here tonight. I want to read you one other quote, though, from Esper in the New York Times. He said, quote, he is an unprincipled person who, given his self-interest, should not be in the position of public service. But the reality is, here in 2022, Trump's power within the Republican Party is only growing, and he continues to tout a potential 2024 presidential run of his own. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.